Every time I press record, I always think I'm going to have this like giant explosive expression. You know, I've read that if you have a YouTube channel, the first 10 seconds, you it's got to be to suck the viewer in. It's got to be dramatic and explosive. And so I always think that I'm going to be like this and it just, it just never happens. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just accepting that <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take the calm approach and it's probably gonna always be like that. But anyway, welcome to Non-Dual Therapy or welcome back to Non-Dual Therapy if you've been here before. I am here to tell you about a 5-MeO-DMT experience that I've had recently. It was kind of an impromptu session with the medicine where I was actually sitting with 5-MeO malt. You know, I saw a video from Leo Gura. He posted on his channel that he had been working with 5-MeO malt. He calls it the other god molecule. So I wanted to give it a shot. I looked it up and sure enough, it's legal in Canada, so I ordered myself some. Through the vendor that I buy my stuff from, they only had uh, the HCL version, so that's the one I ordered. And using an oil burner pipe with a Bic lighter doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe like very minimal vapor, but nothing really happened. There was a little bit of this if I really relaxed into it. But this kind of happened, this can happen anytime. I just, I could just be sitting there and if I just meditate into it, this will start happening. So I, I, I don't, I chalk it up to no experience essentially. But then on the other side of that, you know, this was a bit of a buildup to have this experience. I was pretty nervous. You know, it was about like three or four days of dragging my feet to actually push myself to do this experience. And it was a dud essentially. Like I'm not giving up, I'll try other methods, but for now I've shelved it as a dud. And that's fine, no big deal. But I did have a pipe and it had some old 5-MeO DMT in it and you know it's in my little lock safe that I keep my stuff in. So you know having the time that I had set aside to have a medicine experience I didn't want to walk away with nothing so I took the pipe and I inhaled a little bit of 5-MeO and it, it got the free base just vaporizes so much easier than the salt. I was a little cautious I didn't know if I mixing the 5 meal malt, because I did inhale some, there was a little bit of vapor that I saw, but I didn't know if mixing them would be harmful to me. So, you know, I was very cautious. I took a very tiny amount and immediately I could tell that it was like, well, this is 5 meal. So I was like, okay, I don't feel, I don't feel any negative effects. So then I took a bigger hit and usually I take like a massive inhale. Like I fill my lungs up as full as I can. And then it's just an explosion into infinity. But this time it wasn't like that. I took a, a medium to low size hit. I, it wasn't measured. Um, I have lots of experience of doing that. I do not recommend doing that. But, you know, I, I took a small enough hit and the, the experience reflected the amount of medicine that I took. And instead of this explosion in, into infinity, which I'm used to, I could kind of see the uh, infinity as like a doorway. And what's funny enough is that the very first time I ever smoked 5-MeO, or the very first time I remember smoking it, you know, I, I like to describe it like it was like the glass elevator in Willy Wonka where I was just flying straight up at hyper speed. I mean, Willy Wonka doesn't go that fast, but I'm going through that glass elevator and then there's this explosion into the other side. But here it was, it was presented as a door and you know, I could see the door. And then all these thoughts started to arise. And these thoughts I've had throughout the week, just kind of thinking about, you know, the YouTube channel and my journey, my path, how it's all kind of like merging into this point. Yeah, so I, was having, so I was having some thoughts about the channel. And you know, I'm getting on, now that I'm back doing YouTube again, I'm kind of like doing the same stuff I was doing before where, you know, I take some form of DMT and then I show myself doing this, which which I will be doing in this video. I, I understand the irony here, but I was having these thoughts of like, you know, I just don't want to be doing this. This is like, it's getting old, it's getting repetitive. And, uh, you know, I've shared what there is to share with this experience. So I accepted for me to like move on to the content that I'm looking to make a transition into doing. I need to walk through that door and there's a do doorway in front of me. And so, so I'm kind of looking at the door. This is inside my 5MEO experience. Yeah, I'm still in the ego. This ego is still present of having this experience. The ego is still intact. And I'm looking at the door 
And then I realize the door is death. Like it is like, it's not physical death, it's a psychological death. But I need to walk through that door to, to make the transition into where I'm headed. As soon as I realize that the door is death, there's this like repelling, my, my, my whole being just like, oh, like I resisted it. And as soon as I resisted it, I became aware that I was resisting. And as, as, then as soon as I became aware that I was resisting, the ego just like gone. And then I was, I was infinite. I was in that space. You know, so in that space, hands are coming up, doing the symmetrical movements again. I could see thoughts starting to arise. So this is like the formation of the ego again, like it's starting to try to reemerge. And I would just simply ask simple questions and it would challenge the validity of these thoughts. And there, it was like these thoughts were on like on shaky ground where the, the thought would just like crumble away pretty, pretty easily. I didn't have to do too much digging. But then other thoughts would arise. But these thoughts were different in a sense that like I was already on the foundation and these thoughts could arise. So I was looking at the thoughts from a different place. Instead of identifying with the thoughts, they would come and I could see them. And they were coming from a place of truth as opposed to coming from a place of unknowing or searching or whatever you want to call it. And in that place, the thoughts are like pure and they're, they're clean, they're strong, they have a good foundation. It's like peace essentially. So I was like, okay, I can, I can allow these thoughts to stay. I don't have to question them or challenge them or, you know, watch them go by. They're just there and it's fine because they are truth and it's okay. That's what I'm looking for. So then that wrapped itself up. And then from there, I was kind of presented with, uh, like I could see how 5-MeO affects the body, like this meat suit. I could see how it was kind of transforming the body into being able to handle the word of God. And you know, that's something I've questioned about what is this voice thing that keeps coming up? I've had it on medicine clearly, I've shown that so many times and I've had it off medicine. It happens spontaneously and without warning, it just like comes on and it's usually it's very short, like it's very short acting. It's like maybe 10 seconds at most, but it's always dealing when I'm talking about enlightenment, it comes out. It's never come out talking about just random stuff. Yeah, so I had this like, was, I don't know if it was a realization. I still don't know what to make sense of it or how to make sense of it. But my guess is that there's like a transformation happening. And for me to be able to handle that level of energy, this body needs to go through a process of like adaption in a sense. And I don't know if it's simply just letting everything else go and that's it. Because some people don't have the voice. They can go through their experience and they don't have that voice, the deep voice when the ego is not present. It's, so I don't know what to make of it. You know, people have the, the God realization that they are God, they are nothing, they are infinite, they are love. Whatever way you want to describe it, they have that realization with no voice. But the path that I'm going down is clearly the voice is presenting itself and it's presenting itself. And it didn't happen on this 5 meal trip, but it was more of an internal like acceptance of like this voice is... The word of God, and it's okay. It's it's like the purest form of expression. So it's being okay and comfortable with that, I guess. I, mean, I always thought it was, but it came up in this experience. So maybe there was something that needed to be dealt with. And who knows? There there's probably more. If I'm talking about it and I'm not clear and concise about what it is, I'm still working through it clearly. And another thing I'd like to share is that last night I was watching TV. This is like the day after my medicine experience. And so I'm watching TV at night and I'm watching a, a sci-fi show. So there's a, there's a spaceship and it's flying through space and there's this other spaceship that it's going to. And the spaceship that it's going to is in the shape of an infinity loop. If you watch Another Life on Netflix, there's, you know, there's a spaceship that's like in the shape of an infinity. And it's like an actual like moving, sh it's a, a ship that is like actually like rotating into itself. So I'm watching this and I, this is, I'm watching the second season. I haven't seen the first season in a long time, so I can't even really remember what's going on, but I'm more interested in like the, like the symbolism that's being reflected to me in a sense. I thought that was like cool. But then later in the evening, like I finished my episode, I, don't, I usually don't watch too much TV in an evening, but I was gonna look for an episode of something for my wife and I to watch together. I was scrolling through 
Netflix after the show just to see what's there. And, and then another thing came up with the infinity symbol on it. When you get to watch the little preview of the show, there was another infinity sign in that preview. It's like, wow, that was like two times and maybe I'm just noticing it. Maybe it's always there. I don't know. But then I, 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 so then from there, I didn't end up watching anything. And I turned the TV off. My wife came downstairs and she was watching her show. And I saw just on my phone. And we were sit, I was sitting there for 20 minutes. She's watching her show. And the one time I look up from my phone, there's an infinity loop in the background of where this person was standing. Like it was like a symbol for a business or something. And there was an infinity loop on a sticker in the background. It's like, man, I can't get away from it. It's just like, it's just right there. It's like staring me in the face. So... I'm going into the next experience I have with 5MEO to like, not just like walk through the door, but to like confront the door so it doesn't evaporate with fear as soon as I realize what it is. But I want to be able to gracefully walk through the door and be able to turn around and realize there is no door. So that's ultimately what happens. So if I can do that, I can move on to making other content and not doing the same old, same old. You know, it's easier said than done though, but uh, there's no it's all playing out it's all good if you have made it this far please give this video a thumbs up really appreciate it thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one